You know I gotta come back Gotta come back Slack The CEBL Summer Series continues Dwayne Notice out of the line of his injury you can expect Briante Weber to play a lot Come off it If Guelph wins this game we could see a four-way tie at four and two atop the standing The Stingers move to to clinch the top spot in the CEBL Summer Series. Tell me what you want, because the moment things go bad, you got shit on each other. When we just lock the fuck in, we are they are scared. Okay, share the basketball, guys. Stop thinking about you. Okay, we're not losing guys anymore. Can we put them away, or are we gonna let them back from the damn game? And when we're competing against somebody, we go at their necks. It's another 40 minutes of that. Both playing for a spot in the knockout round, and if Niagara loses, they are out. Saskatchewan Rattlers, plain and simple. Win and you're in. Lose and you go home. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. Hits it. We are tied at 79. Next point wins the game. Trey Bell Haynes for the win. He does it! Trey Bell Haynes! The River Lions are going to the knockout round! We ain't dead! And that feeling is fucking contagious. There will be a new CEPL champion this season. Nobody wanted to come out here and, and go one and five and, and miss the playoffs. There's, there's no consolation in that. It doesn't make anybody feel any better. But us as coaches are proud of, of your effort. Playoffs are here, yes. and it's a whole new season. Everything's on the line today. Both of these quarterfinal matchups today are identical. The opening day for the CEBL 2020 Summer Series. <laughs> Next basket wins. Briante Weber. He was ice cold in the entire second half, Joe. Hell of a job. You were down 17 in the first half. We got to keep our foot on the gas. Moving on, baby. Who will advance between the Guelph Nighthawks and the Ottawa Blackjack? Win. Olivier Hamlet says, OK, we're done. They will be taking on the number one seed, Edmonton Stingers, thanks to an 83-75 win over the Guelph Nighthawks. We I should probably talk about the Guelph Nighthawks, Joe. They kind of knew that they were better than I guess most people thought they were. They had a very young backcourt, but that backcourt with being young with Miles Jarvis and Kimball McKenzie had lots of leadership. Uh, I, I don't think Guelph should be hanging their heads right now. I, I think they they performed, I, I think, over my expectations for sure. I'm pretty excited to see what Coach Kiske can do with that squad moving into next season. Wherever he says. It's wherever he says. Three, two, one. I was a late bloomer growing up as a basketball player too, so like to see me steadily increasing and like passing my peers that were higher than me at the time, um, I saw that like, okay, if you put in the hard work, like, this stuff can be attainable. Now there, there. You see? Crazy, right? That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of water. You think you can swim in this water? Like I gotta give it a try at least, you know, even though I have a kid at a young age, I just wanna give it a try and to at least say I did it. I just wanted to show him that like your dad pretty much is living out his dream, so like there's no reason why you can't. Yeah, cause I'm running after you all the time. That's why I'm sweaty. <laughs> Look. Let me see. Use your muscles. Use your muscles. You can get up. You need my help or you need to go by yourself? Ugh. 
There. Now you're Incredible Hulk. Now you got the muscles. Let me see the muscles. Oh my goodness. Let me see the muscles. Wow. Ah, you got me. The biggest thing is like why I had to do it because from a young age, that was my dream and I attained it. From the Meridian Center in St. Catharines, Ontario, it is semi-final Saturday in the CEBL Summer Series. It's been a fantastic couple of weeks of Canadian basketball and the best is yet to come. Maniga. Oh, good defense there from J.B. McCombs is gonna go in and lays it in for the two. Dia War trying to break down Shaq Keith. Dia War gets the bucket. Here's Weber. Weber puts it up! And off the hop here, you've got Khalif Young with the throw down. Back out, Baker's gonna launch a tray. And at the depth of the shot clock, he sinks it. Maniga. Kyle Johnson defended well at the rim by Hamilton. Hands off to Shaq Heath behind the back. Keith on the drive, an offensive foul. Again, that's another offensive foul against this Blackjack team. Kama goes baseline, gets it up high, and there's Glasson. Glasson with the steal, and he gets the layup. So we have to be active in this area here. We're too stagnant. We're passing the ball across here. We get no in-screen there. Stop, you know, one, two, three, stop. Stop. And there's Xavier Moon. Capers, Euro step, puts it away. Hooping the harm. He's gonna go to the line. Good ball movement once again. And flying in for the jam, Matthew Camba. Weber. Oh, look at that feet behind the back. And we've seen that a couple of times this afternoon. And now Owen Klassen will go to the line. No give up by Ottawa on that loose ball by Thomas Scrub. Alex Johnson. Catch and release. And there's Mukama. Moves in there and gets the rebound. Elam ending just around the corner. Hanlon, curl and drive. Yes, gets the bucket. We're going to get a good finish here, folks. Hamilton by two. And there's Manica. Good defense. He'll take it to the rim. And now we are tied up, folks. 67 apiece. Now Edmonton three points away. And Xavier Moon. 75 74 Hamilton. Olu Ashalu, that's a tough bucket, and he gets it, and Fraser Valley, dead last in this league last year, and now they're heading to the CEBL final. The medal. I came for the medal and I brought my dogs with me. Yeah! I brought my dogs with yeah. me. Let's go! Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go man. I came for the medal. Let's go. Hey, man. hey, hey! We said we were gonna fight, we still fight. Fight on three. One, two, three, fight! fight. My senior year um, in college, or well, I get the call from my uncle. Uh, on my way to class, my uncle calls me. He was like, uh, somebody just shot and killed Clyde. My stepdad was murdered. I hate crime. Growing up in the South, man, you hear about stuff like this all the time. Just being black. So it's been so normal to me, man, it ain't even, it's, it's not surprising. Um, I drove home. My mama was just waiting on me to get home. Like, she didn't want to see nobody else. She was just waiting on me to get home. So I get home, and I'm, and I'm at home. And it's just like, as soon as I get home, it's just like a whole a weight on my shoulders. It's like, man, like, this is this is true. Like, he got, somebody actually shot and, shot and killed him. His name was Elbert, Elbert Clyde Wilson. The epitome of a man was Elbert Clyde Wilson. If I could be half the man as he is, then I, and I know I live my life the right way. And life is short, so you got to enjoy it while you can. Growing up in Goodwater, uh, I would say it, was, it wasn't tough, but it was definitely a challenge. We have a gym where I'm from, but we wasn't allowed to be in the gym. So it's pretty much where everything went down at, um, outside courts. 
I wish you could see the court that I play on. No nets. Taped up nets. No lines on the court. And then you got like the bushes on this side. So if you shoot, you miss it, <laughs> go in the bushes. Now you gotta go get it. Probably my most meaningful tattoo uh, would be the one on the back of my arm. Um, it's the hashtag that I use, uh, TGBTG, uh, which stands for To God Be The Glory. And I know without God, nothing is possible. Um, and I write it on my shoes, so I pretty much wanted to get that tatted on me because that's something that I live by. Um, and then I got this tattoo from my family. Um, and, and a funny thing about this tattoo, when I got this tattoo, I didn't even know that these were maple leaves. Um, and my tattoo artist being Canadian at the time, uh, I, get, I just told him to do whatever he wanted to. And I guess he, he stamped me with the maple leaf. So I guess I'm Canadian now. Without family, I'm nothing. Um, they support me no matter where I'm playing, no matter where I am, um, good or bad. Um, good games, bad games, ups and downs. Um, they always somebody that I can lean on and count on. It's pretty much the ashes, so I just pretty much, I keep it in this box, but wherever I go, I always got the box in my bag. One more day. Welcome back. Let's get right to it because he may already be at the arena. He's been one of the busiest men in sports over the past few months. Canadian Elite Basketball League, Josh Canooster. Rod, thanks for having me. I'm just in the car on the way to the arena. Today's final features the Edmonton Stingers and the Fraser Valley Bandits. What are you and what can fans expect to see starting at 12 noon this afternoon? Oh, I think fast, high-tempo basketball. I, I don't think there's going to be a play taken off this game. You know, individual accolades kind of go out the window for this game. I think that the winning team is going to bring their best stuff. That's, that goes without saying. We've cemented ourselves, in my opinion, we've cemented ourselves as Canada's basketball league, as Canada's professional basketball league. And I think this is where I love being a league, league employee because I don't have to cheer for any team and I'm just going to enjoy the basketball and let's see who wins that trophy. Watching it grow, watching the momentum grow, watching it getting over these hurdles and now being here at Championship Sunday. Uh, I'm just thrilled to be part of the legacy. There has been some great things on the court that have happened, but the fact that we're actually doing this and we've completed the mission, that's extraordinary. It doesn't matter who wins. Um, for us, we're just really happy with how it went off and the fact that we've got international exposure. Uh, this is going live on national television in a lot of different countries, including our own. So. Really couldn't ask for more. I, I'm, I'm really excited about what's going to happen. Today we are crowning the ultimate Canadian champion in the CEBL. And it's the teams that finished 1-2 in the round robin as well in Edmonton and Fraser Valley. They also happen to be the final two teams standing. Who will be the final one to lift the trophy? I can tell you it's about poise and composure. I can tell you it's about this. I can tell you all that, you guys know that. But what, the, what this is about is the opportunity that's in front of you. There is no tomorrow. There's no fucking tomorrow. There's nothing, tomorrow does not exist. All right, first things first, okay? War on moon. We want to bring that war to moon and we're in the pick and roll. When you're drop coverage, like it's drop coverage, you gotta pick that line and stop. Right, don't let, don't back up, back up, so he gets that floater or that pull up. Stop on him at some point. But rough him up, okay, smart. Okay, smart. Okay. It's a lot of people that helped raise all this, put us in this situation. A lot of people. Think about all those people that did that first. What's a better feeling than making them proud? They're not like the other teams. Some of the other teams sitting in the lane and sending double teams and running at the ball. They, they will space with us. So get away from the ball in transition if you're playing the four. Get to the corners of the 45. 
Okay? Stay together and trust the plan. And to sacrifice, we got 40 minutes. The biggest opportunity in our professional careers. We play our solid one-on-one -on -one defense. We did it last night. We were down six in Elam. Had four straight possessions of guarding guys one-on-one -on -one square. So you go out there, make everybody proud. Who win this? Stairs. Family. Big, big flex today. Fight on three. One, two, three. Fight. These two teams met early in this summer series, and it was Fraser Valley with a 113-100 victory. And there you take a look at the defending MVP of this league, Xavier Moon, and we're underway. Championship Sunday, CEBL action. Right off the bat, you see Fraser Valley's trying to deny Xavier Moon from getting the basketball, so on that, they're gonna play real tight on him and try to deny him the basketball. Diawara looking for three and training it. Oh, look at that move there by Xavier Moon. We've been seeing that all along here in this summer series. Manigan goes cross court. Junior Kadugan and Junior Kadugan rattling down a tray. Manigan has the rebound and he gets it to the Vivier. The Vivier trying to take it to the rack and he's blocked. And there's some defense from Jordan Baker. Diawara. Manega trying to contain him, goes baseline, feeds it, and a big time slam by the big fella, Travis Daniels. So Edmonton off to a good start here. Hey, hey, get back to the game plan. We're fine, we're fine. This guy's telling him to stay up top. You're taking the guy rolling up, and you've got the ball. You come in, you meet the ball outside of here. Get your wind, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and let's get going here. Olu Ashalu steps back, misses that one. Tavarian Nix gets the offensive board. And then Merrick Lassen. Here's Moon again. Shoots over top of Johnson and drains it. And now you got Xavier Moon feeling a little bit here in the early going of this one. Merrick, I'm going to tell you again. You have an open three, you shoot it. Simple. They're winning every loose ball. And we're taking contested two ton, tons of time on the clock. It's, it's five one of fouls for a reason, because they're more aggressive. And now Edmonton pushed up the court. Green cell, little Euro step, blasts it in, and he's fouled. Oh, kid. He, and he just backed up the whole way. And we got to guard this area of the floor better. We have to guard the damn middle. You got to be assertive and aggressive. I can't give it to you just so you're passing out. That's what they want. But here's Marcus Capers, and he drives, and he puts it away. Moon, yes, Moon. little finger roll. He can score so many different ways. Screen set there by Asholu, and Moon. there's Merrick. Merrick. Classic coming off that screen and knocking it down for three. Junior Kadugan loses the handle, gets it back again. Kadugan puts up a wing and a prayer. Marcus, Marcus! What the hell's going on out there? And then the foul is called after the shot clock violation. These guys with the, you guys are so mentally weak with the referees, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's a fucking war. Of course they're hitting you. Here's Capers. Good Tries the jumper and Capers, he's on his game. Here's Junior Kadugan and Kadugan. He's hit a couple of threes, had a little chat there with his buddy. And being small. John Jr. John Marcus. Get your hand up! They can test that damn shot! Stay on the game plan. Stay on the game plan. Subs are coming. Let's go! It's not getting pushed around. Just hustle. Just hustle. Here's Kadugan, little crossover, taking it right to the 10. And Junior Kadugan getting all pumped up. This game has gone back and forth here. Some time running out. And that's going to do it. The score for the first half, and I think, Joe, Fraser Valley's got to be happy just down by four after two quarters. And Xavier Moon, what a first half he had. 15 points in that first half, and uh, it's going to be very tough for Fraser Valley to try to shut him down. Get back to the game plan, and we'll be right where we want to be at the end, just like every other game. It's a good wake-up. That half is a good wake-up. Just make things tough. We're making it tough for you guys, right? So we gotta do the exact same thing. Continue to move the ball, execute our stuff, listen for the play call, and good things will happen. Right, I told you, this is about inches, guys. That's what this is about. We got 20 more minutes once again. First five minutes is gonna dictate if we wanna keep wrestling or do we wanna knock, knock them the fuck out. 
Toughness, okay, and defense. Okay, toughness and defense. Let's go. 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 Let's
game on the court today was fantastic. Two great teams. Kudos to both of them. Only one trophy to give out. We'll give that out shortly. But if I had many more, I'd give them out to every single person in this room today. Uh, we work so hard. Um, a lot of hard work on and off the court. I mean, it's a big compliment to our team, man. We work hard. Um, everybody stayed together and we got it done. Coach Smalls, your team came up really big. Congratulations on eight straight wins to be the 2020 CBL champions. Mike Morreale, please do the pleasure and hand it over to Coach Smalls, what he deserves. Some of the greatest memories I have are just seeing the smiles on the staff face when it was all said and done and the confetti was coming down, watching them kind of assemble and, and just take it all in. That To me, that was as important as anything um, because it was proof that we could accomplish what was seemingly impossible and, and we did it and uh, I think all our staff is better for it. Oh, we, ha we had to show people uh that we could pull it off and when we knew we could we never doubted ourselves but there were some times where you know we said well this is this is going to be challenging we we had people basically step away from their families for for the better part of 40 days to uh, fly into ontario and and really just make sure that this event went off without a hitch uh, couldn't have done it without them <laughs> my expectation coming into the summer series was to make sure that whatever our first impression is, is the strongest first impression, period. I think that we were able to prove that uh, we are Canada's professional basketball league and, and one that they can rely on being here for quite some time. At the end of the day, basketball is our game. It was invented by a Canadian, so it needs to be our game and we want to claim it. And I think it's, it's a great um, anchor for me as a brand person it's, and a storyteller, it's a great anchor to, to base everything we do. Because at the end of the day, we need to be proud of what it is and collectively work towards building it. So that's it, yeah. This is something that people are going to remember as a bright spot of 2020 in Canadian sport. It certainly was an incredible time and experience. It was also something that I hope we never have to go through again because it was it was tough and it was dramatic and it was stressful and but it was all worth it in the end. Um, yeah, man, just been spending a lot of time with my family, still hooping, still getting my daily deposits in, in terms of workouts, staying in shape and staying ready for the next season. Uh, to be honest with you, man, it ain't wore off yet. Um, I've been at Israel seven months, man, and I, I rewatched the old CBL Summer Series games. And the feeling is still surreal, man. I'm just proud of our team. Two weeks after we lost in the finals, I was on a plane to Lithuania to start a new season over here. Currently, we're in fifth place as I'm recording this, so I hope that, you know, we keep moving up the standings and continue to play well as a team.
Um, just having the opportunity to play um, during the summer, during the pandemic, man, was, was epic. Um, big shout out to the CBL, the whole league for, for keeping us safe. We all had that one common goal and we knew that no matter what, we were at least going to, you know, give it our best and give it a good fight. So. Um, I would say all in all, that's probably my, my favorite memory, getting to know guys, making new friends, and, and staying in touch with those guys. And it really felt like a high school AAU environment. Everyone was in the same hotel. You could uh, see your opponents and your teammates in the hallway passing each other. It was really cool. Um, so it just brought back like you know uh, childhood memories of just going to tournaments, not really caring about anything else going on because it was so focused on basketball. At the end of the day, basketball is basketball. So, so those memories will definitely be something that I, I'll always remember. As far as me and Willie playing some more golf, um, <laughs> Willie, I'm coming for you when you get a chance to watch this. Uh, you know that this summer is going to be lit. We're going to be on the links. And, you know, hopefully my golf game didn't suffer too much from 10 months of not playing at all.